How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here and today is the start of Battle Pass Season 7. <laughs> we waited a long time for this. So long, in fact, that we got to replay the entirety of Battle Pass Season 1. <laughs> so anyways, Season 7 is finally here. The theme is Valhalla Quest, if you've been living under a rock. But let's go ahead and take a look at everything this new Battle Pass has to offer. Right off the bat, you can see it's the same as before, where we have the free track and the premium track. And I actually need to unlock the premium track, so we're going to do that. <laughs> and when I unlock the premium track, you get all these things right here. These four items instantly. Well, at least you get the level 1 Jayun skin. But you can see it progresses to level 2 and then the ultimate epic level 3 Luminous Paladin Jayun. We're going to have to work towards that. Same thing with the podium, except on this battle pass... I noticed the podiums are completely different from each other. Like usually there's a clear progression where they look a little bit more upgraded, but it essentially is the same podium, just looks a little different. This time there are three totally unique podiums, which I kind of like that because, you know, a lot of times you get that level three podium, then you never want to look at the level one again. But this time, you know, all three are really good. So who knows which one you're going to use. And then of course we got the dragon sidekick, Drago. And then the Lightbringer's Emblem Avatar. But let's go ahead and unlock Premium so that we can look at everything else. All right, there we go. We have unlocked the Battle Pass. Oh, this is so exciting. I love a new Battle Pass day. All right, we got Jayan. We got the Hero's Quest. You know what I would love to see? Equip. Equip now. Just Can we just get an Equip Now button here, BMG? Because now i got to remember all this stuff to equip. So let's go ahead and equip the, the podium and the avatar right away. Before I forget, there's the beautiful avatar. And then the podium. We don't have the sidekick or loading frame or UI or anything yet. But we will unlock it as time goes on. Let's take a look at everything in the battle pass. So right off the bat, 50% XP boost on level 2. The pack to poison color scheme is really cool. It kind of looks like... Uh, lime green in certain skins. Others, it just kind of looks like willow leaves, which was the last Battle Pass color. But I like it. Some people say it's too similar to before, but I actually like it. Alright, this is the first emote, and as you can see, there's actually a few different possible emotes that come from it, which I really like that. There's actually more than one emote like that, too, where you get multiple variations. There's our first Dwarven Forged Weapon. The Dwarven Forged Hammer. Pretty cool. I actually like the weapons. They're not amazing and they're not terrible. Just kind of in the middle. The Tavern's Entrance. I love that. I love that. I love it. Absolutely love it. Alright. Pack to Poison. We got the Dwarven Forged Boots. Very nice. Pack to Poison. Some free Mammoth Coins. I think you get like a hundred free Mammoth Coins just like back. You know, because it, it, it does cost a little bit of Mammoth Coins to get the Battle Pass. Pass. But uh, you get a lot of Mammoth Coins back. Some avatars. The emojis, which I revealed in my Battle Pass reveal. Love that. Dwarven Forge Cannon. The blaster's looking pretty decent. Some more Mammoth Coins. We got the level 1 Imp. A classic. Dwarven Forge Greatsword. I bet you this is a weapon that, because of the tip of the weapons being like fire or whatever, I bet you they look really good in other colors. This emblem is pretty awesome, you know? It's the Dragon Slayer Val helmet, but it's like she's dead or something? I don't know. That's pretty crazy. It reminds me of uh, Darth Vader's helmet in, like, the new Star Wars movies where you see his busted helmet. Anyways, Albard Hugin. Hugin. Albard Hugin. I can barely say that. Our first Battle Pass exclusive skin. Love it. How could you not? It's a bird bard. The orb is all right. I kind of like it. Probably like it more if it was animated, but... Oh, I love the Infernal Warlock's Cackle. <laughs> Perfect for three-stocking or just when something funny happens in a game. You can do that. Probably the best emoji, like, in the game right now. I'm not even going to lie. That lance is really good. I love it. What we got here? Treasure chest. Oh, yeah. This is another random, like, emote. Different thing happens every time. You might get the Mimic... You might get nothing, and you might get a bunch of gold. 
All right, so potions shelf. That's pretty cool. Avatar, the bow. I really like the tips again. I bet you it looks good in other colors. We got angry Sidra. I'll probably not use that one very often, to be honest. Tempest sidekick. It's like a buff. <laughs> it's, it's buff Hoogan. <laughs> buff. <laughs> Some birds become sidekicks, others become legends. We have Dwarven Forge guitars, pretty cool. Uh, what do we got here? Another chest. Chests are everywhere in this, and a lot of them are mimics. Then we got the loot solo. Actually, this is very similar to some of the other emotes that we saw in the third battle pass, the Viking Valhalla battle pass. Ooh, candle lights glow UI theme. That is so cozy and fantasy and just love it. Absolutely love it. I love the whole theme. Then we got Beastmaster Sidra, our second exclusive. I guess it's our third if you count Jayad. And she's got the cat ears and everything, the fangs. Pretty cool. Almost looks like base Sidra, but just a little bit different. I kind of like that. Then we have the Vulcan Namicon. <laughs> the Vulcan Namicon book. We got some more mammoth coins. Got the Dwarven Forged Axe. Again, probably looks amazing in certain colors. You just gotta, got Zul. Just Zul. Just being Zul. Okay. Gotta gotta say, there's not a lot on the free track this time. The, the paid track is just stacked. And then the free track just has a few things. I love that. Kind of looks funny with Bulbar doing it, but I do love that emote. The Dice Hoarder knockout effect. Nice, nice. This die looks sick. I almost w I wish it was spinning in instead of just shining for the animation, but that's all right. Some more colors, some more mammoth coins. The scythe, pretty boring, but again, that, that nice red tip probably looked better in other colors. I know I say that on all these weapon skins, but it's true. All right, all right. And then I think this is the final premium skin other than the final, final skin which is the Infernal Warlock Volcom. But this one is pretty awesome. I love the weapons. Look at that spear and, and bow. Just very flashy and cool looking. All right, getting to the end here. We got Reno GG. That one is actually a free item, which is pretty nice. So I'm pretty sure the, the well played and the GG are free. Yeah, actually almost all the emoji except the Volkov, the best one is, oh, and probably the Jayon, yeah. So all the static emojis are free, but the, the animated are on the premium track. Okay. All right. Tier 79, another RNG-based emote. Very cool. And then I guess we skipped over the spear, but it looks pretty pretty cool. Kind of looks like the great sword shrunk down on a spear. Last but not least, guys, the Dwarven Forged Sword. Dander's Playtime Avatar. <laughs> All the pack to poison colors. And Infernal Warlock Volkov. Look how amazing that looks. Oh my gosh. It's definitely almost the same as Soulbound Diana. If you guys remember that skin, it, it, she also had like the red circle in the background. And she had the flaming stuff like candles on her head and whatever. So it's a pretty similar vibe and I really like it to be honest. But we, we're not going to be getting that for quite a while. All right. We looked at everything in the battle pass. How about the missions? So these are week one missions. It looks like uh, pretty basic matches, to be honest. Um, ground pound, strength, great sword, sword, cannon. All right. Well, great sword and sword. We're going to be playing some Jayon in this video. So um, that works out perfectly. And then the general mission. So this is the one to level up the podium. You have to play rematches. You don't have to win. You don't have to lose. You just have to play and you will make progress. So anytime you get a rematch, just do it. And anytime you can do a rematch, just do it. And then you'll level up your podium. And then to level up Jay Yun, you got to get grounded light attack KOs, which sounds hard because they're light attacks. But remember, guys, Jayun uses greatsword, and greatsword light attacks are basically as strong as heavy attacks on, like, certain other weapons, uh, especially grounded. Grounded light attacks on greatsword is easy to get KOs, so as long as you're playing greatsword, um, some other weapons would be kind of hard, but it's not impossible. All right, guys, that is it for looking over the battle pass stuff. 
Let's go ahead and... Is there nothing new in the store, right? Yeah, okay. Let's play the new game mode. Game Master's Doom! Be prepared for anything in this three-minute four-player free-for-all match. Withstand the dangerous random conditions set by the Game Master's dice as you work to KO your opponent. Right, so it's basically a free-for-all, but with random stuff happening. And you guys know that we're going to use Jay Yun, of course. Our progression skin, Jayon. Oh my goodness, we can finally see what it looks like in other colors. I'm not gonna lie, this level one Jayon skin is sick. This could have been a level two or even level three version. Like they could have made him look so much worse than this, guys. This is really nice for a level one skin. And you know we're going black all the way because why not? Uh, stance, honestly, Jayon stats are pretty good. I'm just gonna go base. All right, guys. First game in the battle pass. First game with what is this skin called again? Luminous Paladin Jayon. I, I feel like it should be called Dragon Warrior or something. If this like the level three version is the Luminous Paladin. I don't know if this level one is quite very luminous, and he doesn't. I guess he does kind of look like a paladin. So all of the Jayon level one, two, and three are all called Luminous Paladin. It's just level one, two, or three. All right, here we go, guys. Wow. We got another Jayon in here. Good thing he's, like, using white or Coat of Lions. I don't know what color scheme he's using there. Probably Gala. Gala colors. Three, two, Should be easy one, to one. spot the difference because we're black and he's white. So, and we got the... Got the Yumiko. Got the Orion. Oh, it's raining bombs! <laughs> oh man, this game mode is going to be so fun. Okay, you guys saw that bomb just fell right on my head. I got to be way more careful about this. It's not even about winning. It's about surviving. <laughs> oh, buddy, Don't hit the bomb. Don't. I hit the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the bombs stay lit even after they have fallen down. That's pretty funny. All right. To win this, we actually got to get some KOs, right? All right. There's one. Oh, right into those bombs. Look at They're all dying from the bombs. I don't even have to do anything. But it doesn't count as my kill. Oh, my gosh. Don't go over here. Don't go over here. You got to stay underneath. Underneath the safety of the platform. <laughs> okay, we're in second. This is okay. This is okay. Underneath the platform is safe. Uh, all right, not anymore. Bombs have stopped raining. All right, what's next? Uh, bombs again. All right. Oh gosh. No, 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 This is crazy. Oh my goodness. I, I really don't know if I'm gonna win this one, guys. It's, oh, okay, well, never mind. Double kill? That definitely helped. <laughs> oh, all I have to do is survive. We're winning, we're winning. Apparently, there's a lot more than just bombs that can happen in this new game mode, so. I haven't seen anything other than the bombs except in uh, the stream where they showed a couple other possibilities, but. So far, just bombs. Oh my goodness. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And I'm dead. Yep. I'm dead. And with that, Orion took the lead. No. Get me back in the game. Get me back in the game. No, Orion. All right. Well, we got second place. Honestly, that is insanely hard. Look at the damage. I did the most damage, though. Oh, come on. The This special game mode doesn't even count for your weekly missions.
Well, we still got a bunch of XP, apparently. And I still got the mission completed. I guess you only have to place first or second. Wow. All right. Well, that was fun and all, but let's just go ahead and play like a 1v1 with Jay Yun. Like a regular 1v1 with Jay Yun. This time we'll do a different color. How about um, Lucky Clover? This one looks pretty awesome. Let's, let's try that. What do you guys think of the new Battle Pass? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'm interested. I know some of you guys probably aren't digging the theme, but personally, you know, I I really dig the theme. You know, I, I like fantasy theme in general, you know. So to me, I'm right at home. But if you're not really into fantasy or like RPGs, things like that, you know, you might not be as into the theme, but even if you're not into the theme as much, like, you're still gonna get all these amazing weapons and stuff, so. All right, Taros. Let's go, Taros. Can't dodge those forever, buddy. I'm actually trying to get grounded light attacks, so that's why I'm not really using my six. We really gotta get the grounded light attack, Taros. Don't really matter win or lose. Although we do want a rematch, that's right. Oh, that wasn't grounded. My bad. I forgot for a second. Bro, he is jumpy, jumpity, jumpity. I have a feeling that I can beat this guy. So we're gonna try. Oh, oh, that doesn't count as a grounded KO either, unfortunately. I haven't gotten a single grounded KO attack, unfortunately. Oof, one side air is all it takes. Did you just taunt on me for getting a side air KO? Oh. You gonna attack me, Taros? That's not it. Come on, Taros. Oh, that's the leg. No, 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 Taros. Yeah, yeah, grounded light attack KO, right? All right, guys. Well, that was the beginning, only the beginning of Brawlhalla Battle Pass Season 7. I'm definitely going to be grinding these missions because I want to get my Jay Yun to level 3 as quickly as possible because that skin looks so good. So does the level 2. Oh man, it looks so good. So let's see our progress. I only got one grounded delight attack. I got a feeling, guys, if you really want to get this mission done quickly, just play free for all. Because you could be getting grounded light attack KOs like crazy and free for all. Anyways, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.